What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save the SHSH2 blobs or the app tickets for your device running iOS 11.3.1 or a lower version, but for iOS 11.3.1. And the reason we're going to save the blobs is because iOS 11.3.1, although it's the latest version, is quite important. See, it has been jailbroken privately already by Lion Chan and the Kin Lab. And as you can see here, this is a screenshot from iOS 11.3.1, iPhone 10 being jailbroken with Cydia. So it's important to have access to the blobs in order to perform downgrades and upgrades when an exploit will allow this in the future. So in order to do this, we will definitely use the TSS saver about which some people know and about which some people do not have any idea it exists. So we're going to go ahead and see what is the latest version for now. So I have an iPod Touch 6th generation and I'm going to show you iPod Touch 6 and as you can see here the iOS 11.3.1 is the only version that is signed currently and it's pretty much the only version for which we can save the blobs. So in order to be able to save the blobs we need the ACID number of the device. Now there is some misconception going around that you have to be running the version that you're trying to save the blobs for. No, you don't. And as you can see, my device is running iOS 11.2.1, which by the way is a good version to wait on, but I'm still going to save the blobs for the iOS 11.3.1. Nothing can stop me. What I need to do is to connect the device to iTunes and go ahead in here and press twice on the serial number, one and two. And you're going to have the ACID. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here on the DSS saver. I'm going to paste it in here and you have to select here on the identifier the device type. So iPod and in my case it's the sixth generation. Now if you want to specify the app notes manually you can check this box in here. I do not want to do that so I'm going to press I'm not a robot and I'm going to press submit. Now it's going to save automatically the um, blobs for the iOS 11.3.1 and with these I will be able to use them pretty much in the future in order to upgrade to iOS 11.3.1 or to downgrade to iOS 11.3.1 if an exploit is available and of course if SEP and the basement are compatible. But it's important to have the blobs because if this kind of uh, situation appears where the blobs are required in order to be able to downgrade or to upgrade and you do not have them, you will not be able to perform the downgrade or the upgrade even though a jailbreak is out. So the blobs have been saved in here. Now as you can see I have been saving my blobs since iOS 10.2 and this is when I got the device back in January 2017. Now you can see that I have pretty much all my blobs in here except for the 11.3 probably. And you can see that it's pretty much very good because if I want to downgrade or to upgrade to a specific version for which I have the blobs and if the situation allows it, for example the basement and the SCP are compatible, but in my case uh, it's not necessary since it's an iPod and if there is an exploit available for the version I'm trying to pound in order to go back to another version or to upgrade to another version, then I can use the blobs in here. But if I do not have them, no matter what exploit I use, I will still need to have the blobs in place. So yeah, if you go ahead in here on 11.3.1, you can definitely see you have the no app nouns folder and the blobs that you can download and that's it. You download it, you have your blobs. Now I definitely recommend you to make a copy of everything you have here on the website because the website might be taken down or may stop working and it's always a good idea to have a copy of everything on your computer and not rely on the website itself. Normally you would probably not need the blobs if you were able to create an iBoot exploit or a bootstrap exploit uh, because you would probably be able to patch the checks that are in place but since nowadays the iBoot and bootstrap exploits are very very, very rare, we still rely on pretty much kernel exploits that would never allow you to patch the boot chain so that the blobs are not checked. So in any downgrade or upgrade to an unsigned version in the future, the blobs will definitely be required. So save your blobs, it only takes a second and it definitely helps in the future when an exploit will be out that could possibly help you to go from an unsigned version to another unsigned version that has been jailbroken. So yeah, this is pretty much how you do it. It. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I am Gia Snow. Until the next time, peace out.